In this video, Nephilim Free tries to prove Christianity. Generally, when you're trying to prove things, it has nothing to do with what the other person thinks. It just has to do with what is provable within our shared objective reality. To, to Christians that can't agree upon their foundational principles that are ultimate and necessary, uh, blah, 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 arguing in I, the room of I, atheists. I, I, I can't so get atheists an can't an agree, answer. so therefore atheists is false. Really? So, yeah, but no atheist I know of ever actually talks about having, you know, a, a method to obtaining and then a christian comes in and offers an idea a concept a thought it's about the knowledge. biggest irony in, this question, in every biggest in irony in this world is the fact that it. each one of you guys argue for some sort of ultimate foundational view and then you just interact with each other and you're completely divisive well you can't no, agree here, on here's what i observed and somebody mentions knowledge, and so I ask a critical and question math. about knowledge, and I can't get one atheist to answer the question. Instead, they just pretend they don't hear me ask the question yeah, because they're afraid summary, to give an just answer. Just a summary of knowledge, Wait a minute. right? Just a summary of knowledge. Knowledge There's is that. academic There's disagreement on every subject. In which so our experiences you, tell us how everything is false. You guys so actually think you're intellectual? Wait a minute. Everything is false. Right, knowledge yeah, is based everything. off experience. This is the classical wow, philosophical definition of knowledge. That's a great experience. failure I can possibly get. It's self-defeating. Where do you experience? Where do you experience? Where do you experience the proposition that knowledge Actually, is based yeah. off experience? So I asked the question about knowledge. Where is that? Where is that? Where is that proposition? I literally just told you. No. Oh, you yeah, guys. Where is the proposition? Where do you experience oh, the proposition? Oh, well, GG. No, I said. Where do you, I, where do you, where do you experience the you? proposition? I said matter doesn't know anything, right? So how could knowledge exist in the atheist worldview? Because matter you experiences anything? things. If matter doesn't experience anything, then we would not exist. Therefore, no, how does the matter know? Experience isn't equal to knowledge. Yes, how does matter is. know anything? I just laid thing? out my argument. Ex experience equals knowledge because experience is derived from your senses that tell you based off your perception of what is going on. Therefore, no, knowledge. knowledge and experience yes. don't mean the same thing. They have different definitions. That's actually knowledge not true. Classic Greek learned by Gnosticism, Gnosticism, knowledge comes from experience of. The, right, so right. in Greek philosophy, knowledge and experience mean the same thing. Okay. No, they don't. That's why they have different definitions. Knowledge. They don't actually. The definition by, of knowledge I, is to I, have I'm experience just, with in classic Greek You're afraid to, to allow. I, I will inundate you with like it. 20 sources. So, so I'm, no, me. I just muted you. Sorry, yeah. Because you're afraid okay. to let me speak because you can't you're handle my I, argument. I literally just told you what experience was. Done with that. And knowledge. Okay. Congratulations. Done with that. See, he's not. He doesn't have the courage to debate, so he just wants to endlessly talk over to make sure that I can't respond or I can't ask a question. And that's Nessa, fear. Don't start Brilliant. muting people in. Don't start locally muting people in here, Nessa, Brilliant. Brilliant. What is your You'll end up with you. That's fear. Okay. Let's talk about is knowledge. Anybody experience? not afraid? Uh, I asked the question. How are they separate? Okay, so knowledge is facts learned by investigation, observation, and study, right? Okay, so experience yeah. is is in, encountering a, 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 a thing and uh, having a reaction to it, okay? So knowledge and experience don't mean the same thing. They have different definitions in the Do you think amoeba experience? So my question was, how is, since matter doesn't know anything, how is it possible for knowledge to exist in the atheist world? Yeah, yeah you're baking it into that matter doesn't know things. No, well, that's just a, a blatant fact. You, you have some, Wait, what, something what, that what did you it? use to determine that fact? You have something that refutes that fact. Well, that's not how claims work. You just said it's a fact, so I'm asking you, where did you so, find this? Tell me how molecules, for example, uh, uh, how do they know something? How yeah, do they have molecules? Yes, yeah, so I'll, I'll just take a panpsychist route, and I'll say because they, molecules they are fundamentally at some at some level conscious. Yeah, molecules have to. You know, I mean, matter uh, to know a thing means you have to be able to comprehend something. Yeah, I'm saying mm -hmm. at some very yeah. small level, um, mm -hmm. molecules can do this. Molecules have minds. Yeah. But that's a panpsychic. Wow. I think this is a very good route. Wow. 
How about molecules? There's the like insanity of atheism for you. How's that insanity? Well, so you're telling us that computers know things. Yeah, to some very small extent, sure. Really, a rock knows something. Yeah, to some very small well, extent. Not a rock. You think this is like? Really? Do you think this is a problem? Wow. Hey. I think that is a, a perfect level a, a, a example you're of asking, the. You're asking experience. how like an atheist can have a worldview that of does atheist. this, and then I give you oh, one. Wait, you that asked me, it, and, and I'm you're like, to oh wow, this is a ridiculous worldview, but that's not the claim on the table. The claim oh, on the I, table I, is if it's even possible. That's an excellent example of the insanity of atheism to believe that matter knows things. That's, I, that's, I, mean, it's I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why you talk about like scientific insanity yeah, when you're. Young, I don't like the route he's right? taking. It's, it's it's virtually no different from your position. I don't even know why you're complaining. It's nonsense. This I mean, guy, it's, this guy's it's, a it's, younger it's creationist just telling insane, us that it's ridiculous. The whole. Oh no, my my view isn't that matter knows things. That would be an insane thing to believe. I believe uh, human beings have mind, an independent mind, not com- created. He believes that matter. there's this non-physical thing and that's controlling physical bodies to move us around. The evidence of in the mind regularly. produce immaterial abstract. And, and it's irrational from? to believe that, Look, m- I, that material actions bring into mind. being something uh, meaningful or useful or even functional that doesn't exist physically in any way. Look, yeah, I, okay. just gave you, I just gave you the... Uh, the claim which is panpsych is but quarks having some sort of fundamental <laughs> consciousness and there being some kind of fourth dimensional wispy mind that permeates all of the cosmos i don't really see how either of these explanations well, just, or knowledge are superior it. to each other yeah can i you, just answered can you explain you, please nephilim i'll do it again this time listen Okay, because I just got through telling you. This kills me about atheists. They ask a question, and then you give them an answer, and then they turn around and say, oh, 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 oh. Now, my whole point is that your answer, answer is as much as a non-answer, is connected. It's, it's really, so this I'm time, with bated breath now. Please explain right, Well, this time, to listen. Me. So you're going to listen this time? Okay. Yes. And so, right, or right. are you just going to keep so, complaining? That's why I spoke up. I don't care about the meta, dude. Just give the right? argument. Right. So because of that, uh, it, I'd say it, it, it's, it stands utterly irrational to believe that immaterial abstracts are produced by material processes. So, for example, when matter interacts with other matter, so if you have 10 molecules interacting with 10 others, and something chemical happens. Electromagnetism is chemistry, right? So because of the nature of the physical number of electrons, the weight of the number of protons and, and, and neutrons in the, in the nucleus of it, Something happens, they either break each other apart or they bond to each other. They steal or share electron orbits, right? And they bond, right? So that's what happens with matter, right? But when that happens, no concept or nothing, nothing whatsoever, not made of any material substance, something that is non physical, immaterial, nothing like that just pop into existence because matter it interacts with other matter. Interactions of matter is purely electromechanical. It's electromagnetic, right? That's what chemistry is, right? It's irrational to believe something meaningful, useful, or even functional but pops into existence, poof, magically, because matter engaged with other matter, which is a purely electromic, uh, electro, uh, electromagnetic uh, a- interaction, right? So why believe that? So if, if 10 molecules don't do such a thing, pop something meaningful, useful, or functional into being in the nether world, why believe 10 billion are going to do it? Or 10 trillion trillion, adding more doesn't make, make it more plausible. It's the same thing for every not, single molecule. I think it does, actually. Not an argument. There's There's not really an argument. Wrong about that. You, just, you didn't so even you address started, whatever I asked you to address. How is that? You said, so, you said so the question mind is, is non physical. Is if, if mind like, are, the, are the made of matter. It account for non physical things. The, the question then the question is begging. how is a non in, an immaterial abstract pop into existence because of yeah, the Yeah, you have to first demonstrate that it's a material before we can even engage with this. How does that happen? Yeah, you're just. Why should we, you, why you, should are we you like believe hard enough on my it happened? You might actually have like. No, like you're just talking over me constantly while I ask the are question. You, are you thinking so consciousness just pop no, into existence? Is that what you're saying? Who? That well, how about something sure. pop into existence like consciousness? Is that what? You're, is that? No, like, he's asking how no, can no, an immaterial no, thing pop into meaningful. existence, and how can no. the atheist explain this? Well, not so only my, could the atheist not only could the atheist be a substance dualist, in which case they would just say that mind. You know, is the same thing you're talking about. It's this immaterial yeah. substrate. Uh, it's so I'll, I'll ask you again. Right? Are you, you some type of property dualist? 
Yeah. Or you can be a panpsychist, right? There's tons of ways to account for this. Yeah. Um, so I, I can like be maybe a, saying there's an emergent property or something. You know, that's you're wrong because yeah. it's it like Wachtelism. No, so you're wrong because I can just say that Swack Wachtelism accounts for it. See, I'm, I win because I said Swack Wachtelism does it. See, well, you I said mean, I mean, I mean, you say, wait, 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 guys, one at a time. You said, you said. Pantheism and psychism, the, these things, you named it the, them, right? But I disagree with you. I think that Swakwakalism, Pokachokis, and, and Chigga Chigaboos, they <laughs> do it. See, so you're wrong because I'm right. Well, but See, it's the same know. thing as saying Jesus does right? that or, or like Christianity right? does that. It's the same thing as saying that. Love. Because I can name things. In fact, because souls on shoes what? can get sticky with gum. That's why I'm right. No, but, right? Uh, but so how is just the Bible naming something is not an explanation? How is blah, blah, blah different than the Bible? Naming something isn't an explanation. See? So the question was, what's rational about believing? Why should we believe that because physical matter interacts with other matter, something that is not made of matter, immaterial, comprises no space, has no mass, doesn't exist physically at all, comes into being when, you, when matter interacts. Well, that's what immaterial abstracts are, and human minds produce immaterial abstracts all the time. Okay, so this you mind know what an immaterial thing, abstract is? Nobody can understand consciousness, and like uh, neuroscientists have been debating it for decades. They cannot understand how consciousness works, and you think that consciousness can be explained through a book called the Bible? Well, I'm asking a question. You're not addressing it. You know what an immaterial abstract is? Well, I mean, an example of that would be consciousness, 100%. No, that's not an immaterial abstract. That's an immaterial uh, uh, entity. An immaterial abstract would be something like uh, a concept of a of a uh, or uh, uh, an imaginary goat, right? Or yeah, or information, two, or an algorithm, or a plan for future activities with inbuilt contingencies. These are immaterial abstracts, right? They don't exist physically in any way. There is no matter to them, no substance, no physical substance, right? Right. And minds well, produce these all the physical. time. Okay. Minds produce them all the time. That's what we do. When you write a book, you're you're producing it. You're creating information, right? So, so what's logical or rational about believing that material, chemical interactions of matter pops into existence something that's immaterial, doesn't physically exist at all, yet it can be meaningful, functional, or useful. Right. Mm -hmm. Why should we believe that story? Well, it's an emergent property. We don't understand how emergence works when it comes to complex systems. No, it's not um, an emergent but... property. It's, it's just like a doodle to you. See, I'm right. No, 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 no. We have ideas about emergence. That's not property. an explanation. It's just a label. A label well, is not I mean, with your explanation, there's no, nobody can understand that, how that emergent property works. Properties work. Right. So nobody can understand why it's rational for atheists to claim that I like how Pete, that Pete matter interacting in physical matter brings into that. being something like that's non-material, immaterial, so yet meaningful well, functional. Nobody can answer such a thing. Nobody. Okay, can excellent. So the atheist worldview has no answer for consciousness or the, the mind. Excellent. Well, what claim of atheism do you think is you're having trouble with? Which one exactly? Oh my gosh, you're not keeping up, sport. I asked the question. You, say that, what, you said atheists can rational about believing that minds are made of matter. That minds, that the materialism of atheism is is rational, right? That minds is just chemistry in a brain, a physical gray matter interacting molecules, which is nothing more than molecule interacting with molecule, right? That's, That's what atheism it is. doesn't do that. Atheism in my says, question, uh, in terms of the definition, is actually saying. That a certain god, whatever god that is, let's say it's a Christian god, you'd be a Christian atheist. You just kind of um, are going against something that actually uh, you don't believe exists. I, me, myself, I think that's a bit nonsensical because you have to assume a certain god does exist, the Christian god or something. Then but you, the atheists the have a worldview. Atheists have a set of beliefs. One of them is that, well, you mean, know, it's materialism, you, you, right? You so to, you're assuming you the raw atheists. That's everything you're materialism. assuming. Well, no, okay, so my question was for an atheist. People have a set of beliefs. And so one my of question those beliefs is, is a God belief. Materialism doesn't so have anything to do if, with a God belief. If you don't want to answer it, then that's fine, because my question was for atheists. If you're not an atheist, why are you answering? 
right? So my well, question I mean, is, you, uh, you could be you could be an idealist and be an. Atheist. My question is for atheists who you are can... materialists. Okay, so why don't you ask a specific okay. person what they specifically believe? That's yeah, a better yeah, way to go about that, it than I mean, just strawmanning uh, the entire can, can swath of atheism. We yeah. guys were talking like, about knowledge. Like, so like, point like, your question to a specific an person, an Neff. An no, it's to an any atheist. It's open. So, so, so find one and and like like stay focused on that one person and find out what they believe. I can't get an answer from an atheist. Oh, yeah, right. you can ask me. All right. Because, because, ask me the question. Because I judge they won't I give you the answer myself. you're looking for. Let's go. You didn't hear the question? You haven't been paying attention this whole time? You didn't hear the question? Well, you're assuming uh, people who don't believe in God uh, don't believe in them believe and automatically it. assume that they believe that molecules just make are the reason for consciousness. Uh, uh, well, there's two reasons the for saying they're that. They're separate things. Yeah, there's what? two reasons for saying that. That's a part of the atheist worldview, firstly. And secondly, well, if you're, if you're, let always. me finish, please. Please, if you're an atheist, uh, you're stuck with believing that because you don't believe in the supernatural, oh. right? No, so no, no. If you don't believe in the you're, supernatural, you're, two different things. You're, you're only left. Hey, uh, let me finish your sentence. So you've already gone wrong right there, buddy. Let, let me let finish it. If you guys are so scared, you can't let somebody, you know, get 19 words out of their mouth in a row. 19, just 19 words. You got to start talking when they get the fifth one out. Every time you're not, you're not I up to this. It. Okay. You're not up to this. More than 19. Right? All right. You got more so, than 19 out. Congrats. So the question is, of course, if you're if you don't believe in the supernatural, you're stuck with the natural. And that's chemistry. So you have to explain the mind with chemistry, with material, and not with, with an immaterial mind. See? So that's Wrong. part of the atheist worldview. So that's why the question, what's rational about believing that mind that that material interactions produce immaterial abstract construct? That's a great right. question. That's, I mean, I, that's a okay. I mean, that's a that's a decent. And I can't get an answer. answer. Okay, good guys. You guys got, got a lot of study to do. You you don't even that's you back away question. from your own worldview, and you can't answer one question. Twenty minutes. I can't okay, get an answer. Nobody can answer it. What makes you think you could answer? Jesus Christ! He assumes. Whoa! Assumes don't invoke so my savior like that. Like, what? What is this? So so just so he you asks, know, he asks a question. The popular... He's... The he triumphantly thing. announces that he finally gets out and then he leaves? Yes, yes. Yeah. The popular okay. thing, Moby, is that they, they basically claim <laughs> to be prophets. <laughs> they claim to be prophets. They claim to have divine knowledge. And that's how they claim to answer these questions, by the way, Mobius. Batman's doing it right now. Neff is doing it a little bit right now. That's what happens. It goes to this absurd place where it's like, I've been handpicked and I know because God has told me so. Get wrecked, nerd. About fucking dominated, dude. Absolutely dominated.